Hello everyone. So today we'll find the answer to the question, how to find number of clusters in K means clustering algorithm. Okay, so we know that if we have some data points like this, so what K means clustering do? It will divide uh, or cluster the data points, right? Like this. So it will divide the data points into multiple cluster. Okay, so these data points are divided into, for example, three clusters. So cluster number one, cluster number two, and cluster number three, right? But the question is, how many clusters uh, uh, in K means clustering, how many clusters uh, the algorithm should take? Okay, so clusters can be uh, K equals to one, K equals to two, K equals to three, and many more. So uh, how to decide that how many clusters it should consider? It is decided with the help of ALBO method. ALBO method is used to decide how many clusters it should consider. Okay, so what is ALBO method? So ALBO method is basically graph between K and WCSS. Okay, so what is WCSS first? WCSS is the sum of squared distance, sum of squared distance between, between each point and the centroid of the cluster, of cluster. So it is uh, within cluster sum of squares within clusters sum of squared okay so this is this is wcss so what basically we do in albo method we'll make graph between wcss and k for each value of k we'll calculate wcss and we'll make the graph okay so let's uh, understand that how to calculate wcss okay so for example we have we have taken k equals to 1, that is only a single cluster, okay? So all the data points will belong to a single cluster, okay? So for example, this is centroid of that cluster and these are the data points, okay? So from the cluster, from each data point, it will find the distance and square it, okay? So some of these is known as WCSS, okay? Now let's consider that we are considering k equals to 2, means two number of clusters. Okay, so the, the all the data points are grouped into two clusters. So two clusters have, this is centroid for this cluster and this is centroid for this cluster. So we have data points here and data points here. Okay, so it will take distance from each of the uh, data points and centroid. Okay, for this cluster also, it will take each or uh, uh, distance from centroid to each data point. So this is WCSS for cluster one and WCSS for cluster two. So total WCSS will be WCSS one plus WCSS two. Okay, again we are considering that. K is equals to 3. So the data points are grouped into three clusters. Okay, so this is cluster number 1, cluster number 2, and cluster number 3. Every cluster has its own centroid. So the data points belonging to this cluster, these data points belong to this cluster, these data points belong to this cluster. So again, it will find the distance between centroid and data points for this cluster also and for this cluster also. So for example, this is the distance uh, WCSS1. For this cluster, it is WCSS2. And for this cluster, it is WCSS3. Okay, so total WCSS is equal to WCSS1 plus WCSS2 plus WCSS3. Okay, so we will make according to uh, number of, we'll increase the value of K and we'll find the WCSS. Okay, 
So when we'll do that, we'll uh, obtain a graph like this. So this is in the shape of elbow. Okay. So this is for k equals to 1, k equals to 2, k equals to 3, like that. And if it's k equals to 4, like that, it will increase. So where this elbow will come, where this elbow will come, we'll consider that number of clusters. So for example, here, we can see that elbow is there at k equals to 3. So for, the, for this particular curve, we will consider that we will group the data points into three number of clusters. So this is the way we will decide how many clusters we should consider in A means clustering. So with the help of elbow method, wherever this elbow will come, uh, that, uh, that value of K will be finalized. So that's all for today. Bye-bye.